Something strange is coming from Proxima. B. And it's not what you might expect. A. Uh, planet just four point to light years away is emitting light in a way that defies everything we know. Could this be a sign of alien technology? Proxima B isn't just another distant planet. It's a real contender in the search for life beyond Earth. Located just over for light, years away, it is one of the closest exoplanets to our solar system and shares some surprising similarities with our own planet. First, let's talk size. Proxima B is roughly similar in size to Earth, which is one of the reasons it has scientists so excited. But here's where things get interesting. While it might seem like a twin of Earth, it's orbiting a red dwarf star, Proxima Centauri, which is much smaller and cooler than our Sun. This drastically changes the environment. Now, the key thing to remember, Proxima, B lies in what we call the habitable zone of its star, meaning it's in the right position where liquid water could exist. Water is essential for life as we know it. But while Proxima B might have the right conditions for liquid water, it's also dealing with some major challenges. The most significant is tidal locking. This means that one side of Proxima B is always facing its star, while the other side is in permanent darkness. Imagine living on a planet where half is scorching hot and the other half is freezing cold. These extreme temperature differences could make it harder for life to survive. On top of that, Proxima Centauri is known for its solar flares and intense radiation which would constantly bombard Proxima B's atmosphere, adding another layer of hostility. So, while Proxima B offers some tantalizing possibilities, it's far from an easy place for life to thrive. Yet, its proximity and potential for water make it a prime candidate for further study. Could life somehow survive in these extreme conditions? That's the question scientists are racing to answer. Read Dwarf Stars Like Proxima Centauri Are the unsung heroes in the search for habitable planets, they're small, dim, and often overlooked, but they are actually the most common type of star in the entire galaxy. And here's why they matter. These stars burn slowly and steadily for billions of years, giving any nearby planets the potential for long, stable conditions. Because red, dwarfs are cooler and less luminous than our sun, their CH habitable zones where liquid water can exist are much closer to the star. This means that planets like Proxima b, which orbit red dwarfs, have a chance to be within this sweet spot for life. The slow, steady energy output of red dwarfs might actually make these planets prime candidates for sustaining life over incredibly long time scales far beyond the sun's expected lifespan. But there's a catch. While red dwarfs are stable over time, they tend to be more active than the sun, frequently emitting powerful solar flares and radiation bursts. These outbursts can strip away the atmosphere of a planet or bombard it with harmful radiation, potentially making it difficult for life to develop or survive. Still, their sheer number and longevity mean that planets in their habitable zones like Proxima B offer a unique and exciting opportunity to explore the potential for life on distant worlds. In the search for habitable planets, red dwarf stars aren't just an interesting side note, they're central to the conversation. The search for life on Proxima B is one of the most exciting endeavors in space. Exploration today, but it's also fraught with significant challenges. At the forefront is the difficulty in studying such a distant planet. Proxima B orbits the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, located over for lighty years away from Earth. To put that into perspective, that's about 40 trillion kilometers, an almost unimaginable distance. 
given this vast, expanse simply gathering information. About Proxima B is no small feat. One of the primary obstacles faced by astronomers is the sensitivity of the instruments required to study distant planets. Traditional telescopes struggle to gather enough light from such far off places and they can't always separate. The faint signals from Proxima B from the overwhelming glare of its star. More advanced instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope launched to study the infrared universe and upcoming tools like Harmony on the extremely large telescope are designed to delve into these difficult to reach worlds. These telescopes offer new ways of analyzing distant planets by detecting light emissions, especially from their atmospheres, which could hold vital clues about their habitability or even the potential for life. But even with such advanced technology, astronomers face another serious hurdle, the nature of Proxima B itself. The planet's proximity to Proxima Centauri means it's subject to intense radiation and frequent solar flares. This radiation bombardment can complicate our ability to study its atmosphere and any potential signs of life. In addition, Proxima B is tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star while the other remains in perpetual darkness. This creates extreme temperature differences that make it even harder to predict whether life could survive, especially on the dark side where temperatures might plunge to extremes. Despite these obstacles, the potential stakes of the mission couldn't be higher. If Proxima B is found to harbor life, particularly intelligent life, it would radically change our understanding of the universe and our place within it. It could answer one of the most profound questions in science. Are we alone? The potential discovery of alien technologies hinted at by the strange light emissions detected from the planet adds a layer of intrigue. These emissions could be natural phenomena or they might point to something more extraordinary like a signal from an advanced extraterrestrial civilization.